What's up, guys? It's Russo and Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports, and we have another WNBA prize picks and underdog video for you. Uh, just two plays today since it's just a single game slate. Uh, we're going to be talking about um, July 3rd, <laughs> Wednesday. Um, and uh, so, yeah, just two plays for you. Before we get into our plays, though, if you haven't signed up for either of these platforms yet, for prize picks, just use the promo code at the bottom of the screen and you'll get a deposit match up to $100 for signing up. Um, and then for underdog, if you use promo code backdoor, they're going to give you a deposit match up to $250 and an instant pick'em special, which is a discounted play uh, that is going to help you cash your first slip. And there's a link in the description of the video for both of those if you're looking to sign up for those platforms. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell uh, so you don't miss out on these plays. We've already had some plays uh, bumping uh, on us uh, that we did had to make some quick pivots um, on already. So if you want to jump on these plays before they get moved around, um, just make sure you have the notifications on as well. If you guys don't mind, do us a favor and hit the like button. It's just a simple click of a button for you, but it helps us a lot. So we really appreciate you guys just helping us get in front of a larger audience that way. All right. So these are the plays we're going to be covering. Um, I'm going to be taking Natasha Cloud. Uh, I like going under on the 11 and a half rebounds and assists. And uh, at the moment, I'm able to get this 11 and a half line on both prize picks and underdog. What are you getting into, Jordy? Yeah. So for my pick, I'm going with Natasha Howard and taking the other Natasha on the other team. Um, I'm taking her over her first half PRA at 13 on prize picks. And we're getting uh, the 12 and a half line on underdog, which is really a good deal. But um, I do like the 13 as well. Great. All right. So. Um... Uh, let's dive into the details here. Uh, if you haven't signed up for Daily Grind yet, the DFS Optimizer is really the best tool on the market, in my opinion, for helping you find plays uh, with discrepancies that are juiced. Um, they they just they, they it does all the work for you. Uh, they make a lot of killer tools, but our favorite is the DFS Optimizer. Um, if you guys want to uh, give that a shot, um, they're giving all of our viewers 25% off when you use code Backdoor. Uh, just go to dgfancy.com and you can get that 25% applied to however long you want to make your first subscription. So they'll let you push it all the way out for a year if you want. Um, but it essentially pays for itself. Um, caching one slip is going to cover a couple of months of this tool. Um, uh, as far as like if you hit like a six man, um, which we've been getting back into uh, the six man slips. Uh, we go two man and we go six man, but really... Uh, we go back and forth with which we like more, but we really just like the insurance of the six mans. And, you know, you can you can go 24 straight losses on a six man and then uh, hit one out of 24 and you're even again. So um, not to mention the insurance of if you go five of six, you're not losing your full unit. Um, so we're kind of getting back into the, uh, the larger slips. Um, which, uh, yeah, has been uh, paying off for us lately. So, um, yeah, dgfantasy.com, DFS Optimizer will absolutely help you cash more. Um, code backdoor. All right. So, uh, Natasha Cloud. Um, I like her to go under this. I know she's gone back to back games of hitting this, but if you take a look here, uh, she's only cleared this line uh, four out of 10 times. Now, let me go ahead and bump this to the under. So, yeah, she's only cleared that four out of 10 times. And uh, that's the last game. She's coming off of a 10 assist game, which is a great outing. I know she's capable of assisting the ball, but um, I don't expect her to get 10 uh, here tonight. Averaging 34.9 minutes a game, 3.3 fouls. Um, so not really getting in foul trouble. Um, when it comes to the rebounds, though, um, uh, they're, they're actually pretty tough against the rebound. Third in the league in rebounds allowed. So it's going to be tough for her to really do much on the side of rebounding the ball and they're kind of middle of the road when it comes to uh assists allowed so she'll probably be able to get her seven eight assists maybe but i just don't see her being able to rebound the ball that much tonight um and it's not like a big part of her bag you know so feeling comfortable taking the under on this one um if we hop over to the dfs optimizer uh they have this uh they have uh well for prize picks they have this uh as one of her top plays but they do have it favored to go under um, they have it at 52.81% odds to hit the under. They have it juiced at a minus 130. Uh, so does FanDuel. So both of these platforms are feeling like this is going under. Um, and uh, if you're interested, um, they do have uh, prize pick. I'm sorry, the DFS optimizer has for prize picks, uh, the points assist as the top play uh, under 19 and a half, minus 133, 53.65% uh, odds to hit the under. If you're more comfortable with that, but when I looked at it, I just didn't feel as comfortable as I did with the rebounds and assists because the rebound matchup is going to be so difficult. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be taking the uh, 11 and a half rebounds and assists under. And then uh, for underdog, um, they do have this as the best play for her on underdog. Um, it's funny because it's like uh, even more juiced on the DFS optimizer 
for her on underdog than it is on prize picks, which doesn't really make that much sense to me. But maybe you know why. Uh, just uh, let me know in the comments. Um, but they have this uh, for underdog as the top play for her uh, to go under 53.71% odds to hit the under. They have it at a minus 141. Um, and then we see FanDuel here at a minus 136. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm feeling good about this play. If you guys want to check out this other app we use here, Outlier, it's really great for vetting your plays. So you use the optimizer and you find the plays. It helps. It just puts all these plays on your radar where you're getting a discount or you're, you're you know, they're, they're kind of catching these platforms slipping and the line is not where it should be. Um, then you hop into Outlier and you can dive into the details. You can see all the past games. You can get injury reports. You can get insights about the players. Uh, it's a really great tool. Um, if you guys want to check this out, they're giving all of our viewers just a seven day free trial. So you can give it a test run. Uh, there's just a link for this one. So you don't have to use a code or anything. Just go through the link in the description of the video and they'll give you seven days to just uh, try this out. You can apply it to baseball, um, any, of, any of the other uh, sports that are going on. They don't cover esports at the moment. We're, we're really hoping they do eventually. Um, but yeah, for now, WNBA, um, NHL, stuff like that, soccer. I mean, NHL is over, but all of the sports. Um, so yeah, go check that out. Give it a test run. And uh, I'm going to pass it over to Jordy uh, to get into his play. Sweet. Yeah, man. So to get me started with mine here, um, let me make sure this picks my screen up. All right, there we go. So to get started with mine here, I've gotten Natasha Howard for over 13 and a half first half PRA. And we're getting this line at 12 and a half on underdog, which I really like. I just had it as that, but it got bumped. But I do like the 13 still, and I'll show you why. So over the last 10, she's gone over the seven times. At 13, she's pushed it only one time. So not really worried about that too much. Um, in the head-to-head, -head, she's gone over this two out of four times. Uh, she missed it in the last game barely that they played. Um, but that was last year, so not really stressing that too much. Um, and, uh, yeah, she's hit it four out of her last five. She's been kind of just crushing this line. Um, and she's getting everything done. Like she's getting all her PRA stats here. Like she's getting like 10 points, two rebounds, two assists, uh, 20 points, four rebounds, two assists. So she's a really good first half player. Um, I was looking at just her full PRA. Cause I was like, well, she's going off like this in the first half, but really she does a lot of her work in the first half. So, um, you know, she's getting 15.5 minutes, but you can see in some of these games, she just plays a full straight up 20 minutes in the half. Um, so that's really good sign for us. Um, I feel great about it. The matchup is a little bit tough in some areas. Ninth in points allowed, 11th in rebounds, ninth in assists. But she has gone over this twice against them. Um, one where she went for 21 PRA in the first half. Um, so looks pretty good to me. She's been crushing this line lately. Um, been getting good minutes in the first half. So I'm very comfortable with this play. Like I said, we're getting this at 12 and a half on underdog. So definitely go take advantage of that half a point discount over there um but yeah that's there's uh no gg odds for this obviously because it's the first half play but so yeah that's my uh play i'm feeling comfortable with natasha howard tonight if you guys want to go check out chalkboard definitely go do that um you can bump lines up and down over at chalkboard it's a lot of fun um you know say you were taking natasha cloud for over her 11 and a half pra and she's just been crushing it you could bump that up to like you know 12 and a half or 13 and a half and if you think she's going to hit that line you'll get like a four to five x multiplier on that depending on what the odds are looking like behind it it's a lot of fun um you know sometimes like i think i've gotten up to like a, a 35x on a two-man slip and i know you can get even higher than that so if you guys like little slips and you don't want to make big six bands to get a big payout chalkboard is definitely the place to go play because you can get really high multipliers on like just a couple plays so it's definitely a lot of fun and if you do like to play the six bands and stuff like that they do have insane uh shield play option where you can get like way more bang for your buck and then if you hit like a five out of six you'll get like you know way more than just 2x back so it's a lot of fun over there and they by far in my opinion run the most deals i think they run like almost six specials a day sometimes and it's just crazy so the value you get for playing over there is definitely worth uh your time and effort so if you want to check that out there's a link in the description below it should auto populate the code for you but if it doesn't use code backdoor at checkout and they'll match your first deposit up to 100 dollars, just like the rest so it's a lot of fun definitely go check them out and uh, that does it for me yeah and uh, speaking of chalkboard they do run specials every single day um, usually at least six specials uh, which is awesome you don't have to wait till like taco tuesday but on Taco Tuesday, they run even crazier specials. They put out six specials yesterday, all six of them cashed. Um, I had a great day on chalkboard yesterday. Um, yeah, so a lot of fun being in control of your own lines, plays low as, plays as low as a dollar. Um, I think that they're the best in the business right now. And you want to be diversifying. 
uh, your portfolio. You want to be diversifying the platforms you're playing on. You're, you're limiting your upside when you just stick to one platform uh, because you're going to get better lines on uh, different platforms. Then you can start getting into like middling if you want to when you're like, uh, you know, one, that's, that's, a, that's a different discussion. But um, multi platforms is the way to go, in my opinion. Um, but if you guys want to join our Discord, uh, we had a great day yesterday, uh, a solid Taco Tuesday. Um, had a couple close calls myself, uh, almost hit a couple six mans, um, but a uh, solid day for the community. We're all working together. Uh, these guys are getting into soccer in here. We're doing esports. Um, our uh, other analysts, Moose and Konzel. Konzel had a monster day yesterday. Um, nothing crazy huge, but just multiple slips uh, bringing in a profit for him. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to join us, uh, there's a link in the description. Uh, if you go through the Patreon link, Patreon's there just to manage our subscriptions for our Discord right now. Um, so if you sign up through Patreon, uh, just go into the uh, settings on Patreon and there's an external apps option. Um, so you just connect Discord, very easy to do. Um, and then that will unlock uh, our entire Discord community for you. You can hop in the community chat once you sign up and let us know you're new. We'll show you around, kind of help you get a feel for the way we uh, we do things. But um, we really appreciate you guys tuning in. We're still very excited to get fantasy football running. Um, we are still working on our dynasty rankings. Um, we uh, actually have some of the rankings together. We're just filming and getting everything cleaned up. So we're going to be dropping that pretty soon. Um, but have a great day, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Good luck, guys.